Hello everyone, I'm Steven from Huyo Laser Technology Corporation Limited. Here is an automatic production line customized by us for our clients. I will now walk you through the key stations and the main functions of this fully automatic line. At this station, the customer used a robot for the automatic loading. The robot uses its visual positioning system to locate the battery cells and place them on to a higher that conveyor, higher uh, conveyor tray, which moves to the next process. Uh, this is the battery cell scanning station. A barcode scanner scans the QR codes of all the battery cells recorded all the data into the system for the future use. You can see here scanning. This is OCV test station. As you can see, OCV sorting. At this workstation, all incoming battery cells undergo an OCV test to ensure their voltage and inner resistance meet the required product specification. Let me show you. As you can see, the OCV done. Here it's come for the NG. If any cell is NG, it's going to come here. Okay, you can see. But no cell is NG, so it's going next station, going to the next station. Uh, this one is NG removal station. NG means not good, not okay cells. After OCV test, any defective battery cells are directed to the NG buffer area while Qualified cells move to the next station for additional processing. Let me show you. This is polarity detection station. This station uses the product design specification to grab the battery cell, rotate them as necessary and adjust the polarity. You can see. You see? Yeah. Now it's going to rotate. Yeah. You see? Yeah. Very nice. It's all automatic, all automatic. Battery cell glue application. At this stage, scale worker ensure that each battery cell is properly bonded with the glue, with the glue ensuring a secure adhesive connection. Please come, I show you. Battery cell stacking station. You can see the robot at this uh, station pick up the battery cells from the conveyor line and stack them according to the module configuration. The platform used a dual layer stacking design where A layer cells are stacked while the B layer cells are removed are moved simultaneously. This alternating process increases the stacking and handling efficiency. Please see. manual compression station. After the glue is applied, the battery cells are moved by a robot to a sliding platform, which moves the manual compression station. The worker presses the start button, start button, you can see, uh, presses the start button and side cylinder clamp the cells to keep them horizontal, keep them horizontal. The pressing cycle is completed when the top plate reaches the set length. Top plate, you can as, as also known as end plate. After which the cells are strapped with the steel belt. You see, steel belt. Please show them the steel belt, yeah. Module scanning and binding. Each module is scanned and bound with the necessary data to ensure traceability throughout the production line production process and production line. Pole positioning and photo identification. The module is identified at this station where a 3D platform captures images of the module's terminal, record their positions and send the information to the welding station for precise welding. Let me show you. Again, okay, now the module is coming. Yeah, please come, I'll show you. 
you can see this station is very important it's going to collect all the data of the modules terminal and pole and send it for the working with a laser welding the next working station is uh, ISO test station at this station tests ensure that the positive terminals of the battery cells are insulated from the casing and that the cells are correctly orientated. Please come, i show you. I think the module is here. Yeah. Please check. We are so done. Here is the laser cleaning station. After positioning, CCD cameras take the photos of the terminal marks and the system automatically clean the poles, removing any dirt and surface impurities. Any dirt and surface impurity. This ensures proper contact for the subsequent welding process. Because next is our laser welding process. Please sit. Here is laser cleaning. As you can see up over there, laser cleaning. Yeah. After the laser cleaning is done, the next, the next process is to apply the CCS. You see, here is the CCS. This station is to apply the CCS on the module. Uh, it's the preparation for the laser welding. Put the CCS upside, then it will go for the laser welding station. Here is the CCS again, I show you. Are here for the most important working station, laser welding station. After uh, laser cleaning and uh, applying the CCS, the module come to the laser welding station where the system automatically weld the terminal uh, based on the previously recorded data, you know. Here is laser welding and uh, HY Energy machines, they are one of the top right now in laser welding because uh, for the laser welding, we never compromise on quality. Must have to be a good quality and efficiency for the, for the module. Please check here. Uh, after laser welding, this is post welding dust remover. This station removes any dust generated by the laser welding process to maintain their cleanness. Please check. Yeah. This is you, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is using the spirit. They are using the spirit, you know, to clean first. And then you can see the vacuum to, <coughs> to remove the dust, you know. All right. After, after the removing the dust, uh, dust, after dust rem removal, this is EOL test station. EOL means end of line uh, test station. This station ensures that the complete module meets all the required specification before moving forward in the next production process. You can see this beautiful girl is doing this EOL on this line. Guys, so uh, after the EOL is done, you know, this we are going to upload the module. So this is all about our one module assembly line. What we did, well, laser welding, cleaning, every, everything, you know, in this one line. And now the module is upload from this station going for the pack line. So after the modules leave the production line, let's come to the pack line. Pack line basically have two main sections. The first section involves cleaning the box, after cleaning it, you know, uh, placed on the line. The second section is, uh, you know, installation of strips installed in the box, glue it, uh, glue basically at the bottom of the of the pack uh, of the pack box, you know, and the module is placed inside the box. The module are then secured with the screws and wiring and cover and other components. Finally, the top cover cover the pack box then it's sealed after that you know for, uh, we do some uh, leak test EOL test and then the final product is ready to deliver guys this is our final product standard pack box now it's right now it's being charging and discharging uh, so that was all of it today hope you guys enjoyed and thank you for watching thanks a lot
拜拜。